Kong was declared operational in February 1941. At the same base, the 2nd Eagle Squadron, number 121, was established that May, followed two months later by number 133 Squadron at Coltishall, both also on hurricanes. All three units subsequently re-equipped with Spitfires. Together, they participated in the ill-fated Dieppe raid in August 1942. By then, of course, the United States had officially entered the war, and the days of the Eagle Squadrons were numbered. However, they had made their mark. Some 244 American pilots served in the three units, alongside British squadron and flight commanders. Between them, they claimed 73 and a half enemy aircraft destroyed for the loss of 82 of their own men, 77 Americans and five Britons. IWM and more supported financially by it. This aircraft, of course, synonymous with East Anglia all over East of England. That performance, uh, Colin from the Bristol Mercury engine, of course, the same unit as powered the likes of the Gloucester Gladiator and the Bristol Blenheim. As you mentioned, other roles were found for the Lysander. Air Sea Rescue was one, target towing another, but it was special operations that became its raison d'etre. There were two squadrons, numbers 138 and 161, stationed at Newmarket and particularly at Tempsford in Bedfordshire. 